We've all heard stories about a genie or some magical creature suddenly appearing and saying he can grant any wish in the world. If that happened to you, what would you ask for? There's a story in the Bible like that, which I'll be sharing in a minute, while I create in my art journal. And also I want to share with you a story from my own life. So my theme today is about asking God for wisdom. It's one of the most important things you can ask for, and a prayer request that God is surely going to answer for you. Wisdom comes from reading the Word of God and hearing His instruction. So I decided to create an image of a person reading from the Bible. There's a story in the Bible about this king named King Solomon, and he was a new king who dreamed one night that he could ask God for anything he wanted. So... King Solomon became famous for asking for just one thing, which was wisdom. God was so pleased with that answer that he gave him not just wisdom, but riches and honor and all kinds of things. And he was the most famous king that lived during his time. When I was younger, I felt really ignorant and I felt very insecure because I didn't know anything. The first time I realized I didn't know anything, was when I traveled with my mother to her hometown in Germany. And because I was born and raised in Japan, I didn't speak any German at all. So one day, one of my mother's friends invited me uh, to her son's kindergarten. And I was about three or four years old at the time. And when I went to the kindergarten, of course, it was full of German children. And they were all asking me, and they were saying this, Wie heißt du? Wie heißt du? And it sounded like a question, so I said the only German word I knew, which was ja. Yeah. So that day, so many people asked me that question. And I came home, and I told my mother what happened. And, she, and I told her, everyone was saying this. And I said, yeah, because I didn't know what to say. And she laughed and said, that means what's your name? So after that, I learned what to say when people came up and asked me that question. But like this, there were many situations in my life when I didn't know something and I, I just felt very stupid and I felt very embarrassed. But I learned through my experiences about what people are saying, about speaking different languages. So later on, I had to learn English when I moved to the States and I didn't know English at all when I was in first grade. Again, I went through this feeling of not knowing anything and I wished I knew the language, I wished I could speak. And it took me a while before I could even ask a question of the teacher. But anyway, I overcame these insecurities. Later on, I had to move back to Japan and I went over the same thing again because I couldn't read or write in Japanese. But in any case, every situation where I felt helpless and I didn't know anything. God brought me through and I learned. I learned my languages. I learned how to handle situations. And always, even when I was a teenager, I always had this desire. I wish I knew everything. I wish I had wisdom. I wish I was older and wiser. And of course, wisdom is so important for life. Everyone has situations when they don't know what to do and you need wisdom to deal with every situation. We all go through periods of not knowing and not understanding things, having to figure out how things are done. And God helps us in every situation. And He likes it for us to ask Him. The Bible says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God, who gives to all generously. And God loves to give His wisdom to His children. Oftentimes, the troubles we get into are results of us not having wisdom. Sometimes we make poor choices. Sometimes we get into relationships without foreseeing who the person is that we are in a relationship with because we don't have the wisdom to discern what kind of a person they are. And this is exactly what made David in the Bible ask also for wisdom. David said in a time of crisis, after he committed adultery and murdered someone, he confessed his sins to God and he said to God, make me to know wisdom. And this was his prayer request. 
he realized that he needed the wisdom of God. And God, of course, granted him forgiveness, and God granted him wisdom. And God even called David a man after his own heart, a person who had murdered people and committed adultery and was so full of sin, was forgiven because he asked God for wisdom. And the Psalms that we read bring comfort and encouragement and hope to people thousands of years later because David asked God for wisdom. What an amazing thing God does for those who ask him. I encourage you to ask God for his wisdom every day. You need God's wisdom for your life. And when you ask, be confident that he will give it to you. Trust in God and in the wisdom he gives you, and you will never be ashamed. You will never regret asking God for wisdom. And you will see what a difference it makes in your life. I encourage you today to ask God. And I hope that you will be encouraged today. May the Lord bless you.